Hey everybody, I haven't prayed that you're doing well today. So we come to our word from the word. And today that word is guided. Guided. Now as we're following along in the story in Luke 2, and I know if you've been watching daily, you say, well, most of the time we don't want, we don't get a video on Saturday. But I told you this week, today, Christmas Eve, if you're watching daily. And so I wanted to lead up that Christmas story all the way to Christmas. So Merry Christmas to you and your family. Now with that being guided. Now, as we've been following along in Luke 2, this is on after Jesus' birth. But today, I just want us to see an encounter that they have when they come, when Mary and Joseph come to the temple. So uh, it says, and this is starting in verse 21, right where we left off of Luke 2. It says, And when eight days were completed for the circumcision of the child, his name was called Jesus, the name given by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. Now, when the days of her purification, according to the law of Moses, were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord. And to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. And behold, there was a man in Jerusalem whose name was Simeon. And this, was, this man was just and devout, waiting on the consolation of Israel, and the Holy Spirit was upon him. And it had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not see death before he had seen the Lord's Christ. So he came by the Spirit into the temple. And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him according to the custom of the law, he took him up in his arms and blessed God and said, Lord, now you are letting your servant depart in peace, according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all peoples, a light to bring revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. And Joseph and his mother marveled at those things which were spoken of him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the, rise, uh, for the fall and rising of many in Israel and for a sign which will be spoken against. Yes, a sword will pierce through your own soul also that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. It's so much in there, but I, I just want us to focus today, not even on everything that Simeon said, because there's a lot there that he said and, and some you can tell that he was full of the Holy Spirit to be able to proclaim the, the wonderful truths that he did that no one except God knew at that moment. And that's why we know he was guided by the Holy Spirit to be there. And that's that word guided today. That I wonder how many times, right, we've been guided by the Holy Spirit to do something and we didn't wonder how many times we've been guided and, and led to, to do something, to say something, to, to witness, to bless somebody, to stand up for the name of Jesus, to, to just to do something wonderful for the cause of Christ. And we failed. Now, I know I would venture to say I'm not alone in saying that there's been many times where I felt God tugging on my heart to do something and, and I said no. And usually it doesn't take very long to regret that decision either. But the times that I have said, yes, God has shown himself to be in control, has shown himself to be worthy of our praise and worthy of our obedience. Now you think about in Simeon's case, could you imagine him being guided by the Holy Spirit and say, you know what? I'm just too tired to do that today. I'm too tired to go today. I'm old. I, I'm just waiting to die. I, I don't have time. Or I'm too busy. <laughs> too, too much in my schedule. I've got to work too many hours. I've got to uh, spend time with family. And, and I've, oh, I've got to spend time at church, right? I mean, we can use a lot of things to get in the way of us doing what God has called us to do. Right? We can use all of those and make them all idols, essentially. Right? Our, our, our religion can become a, an idol when God is to be the focus. But, but today, even here on Christmas Eve, are you, 
Are you being led by the Holy Spirit to do something? Time that you'll see family that you normally don't see. Are you, are you being led by the Holy Spirit to, to present the gospel to them? Maybe just simply to sit down tonight and, and read the Christmas story with them before you worry about celebrating the gifts and presents or, or, or even eating dinner. Even just something in, in a blessing before the meal. Whatever the case may be, can you imagine what would have, what Simeon, he wouldn't have even have known, but imagine had he said no, look at what he would have missed. He would have missed out on being able to be blessed by experiencing the gift of God right before his eyes and even to be able to hold his Lord and Savior in his hands. And he also would have missed an opportunity to bless Mary and Joseph as well. Can you imagine what it was like to hear that for them? What a blessing and an encouragement it was for them. So today and every day, if you are feeling guided by the Holy Spirit to do something according to his word, then guess what? We just need to do it. God bless you. I pray you have a great, great day and a merry, merry Christmas.